Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read. And uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you in 2021. I'm going to bring forward some messages first, and then we will get to the cards. I will tell you right now, this, this year doesn't have to be tough for you. It doesn't have to be tough, but it's very emotional. And it does feel like the heart is breaking. That doesn't have to mean that something awful happens, but rather a discovery of something. Um, we can experience heartbreak when we know it's time to leave the past behind. It's time to heal from whatever. Healing is going to be a big thing for 2021. It always is. But, <laughs> you know, it's having to break away from something else before you can get going in a healthier, more positive direction. A good example of this would be if you're hung up on a, a breakup or you lost a job or, um, God forbid, if you lost somebody before, right? You know, or God forbid, recently, by the time you're watching this, it's not a prediction that something like that's going to happen. I'm just saying if you've experienced some sort of loss or there's some pain of whatever type in your past, this starts to come up to the surface. The emotions are opening up and it's asked asking you to look at it so that it can be released. So there could be this like sort of heartbreak here, this bittersweet kind of story that emerges for you. And it's for you to process. It's for you to let it go if you can. Now, of course, as I always say, these videos are not meant to be a replacement for therapy. If you need to work on something with a mental health care professional, please don't be afraid to reach out and get that help, okay? But uh, it's a very contemplative time. It's very like, like the emotions, it's just, I don't even know. I mean, you guys can make anything happen that you want. But as far as a message for you guys about what's outside of me that's gonna be going on, that's not what's happening here. It's like, it's sort of this sense of like calm, quiet, sit there, sit with what's happening. What's coming up for you? What are those memories? For some of you, there are things that you have just denied. Um, and now that's coming back for you to throw some love into it to, um, to get the help. Okay. Now for some of you, it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be doom and gloom. You might be watching this and going, Hey, I started a business this year and it's thriving. It's doing great. Okay, that's awesome, congratulations. Uh, and that's definitely a potential and a possibility for anybody. But what are you experiencing emotionally? That's what you're doing. You're evening out your emotions here. And you know what is happening on the surface? Where have you changed? And you know what do you put your energy into? Does this make sense? Because whatever you're doing on the surface, for a lot of you, this is hiding some of those things that now are asking you to give it some attention. Yes. So you might find that you're not pursuing too much, especially in the beginning of 2021. It could go on throughout the whole year, but you're not putting your energy into things that you once did merely because you got to sit and process um, certain events, pains. But it's good. Ultimately, it's good. Okay. I don't feel like it's like, yes, your heart breaks, but it's not, it shouldn't wipe you out entirely. Right. And again, get help if you feel that you need it. But you're definitely looking at things, you're definitely looking at your own behaviors, how you show up, how you approach things, how do you think about things, what scares you. Okay. It's unburdening. Yeah. I'm hearing an unburdening. It's uh, releasing. All right. There we go. First card out we have is work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. That's exactly what it is. 
you're processing your emotions. So, you know, who knows? It could have been 2020 was quite the triggering year, um, but definitely you're coming to terms with what it is that you fear, what it is you're feeling. It's all that stuff we've already talked about, okay? Again, make sure you get support if you need it. All right, surrender to the divine full moon. So this is really overthinking things, trying to put a logical anything around your feelings. It's not going to work. It's not, emotions are not logistical. It's a different brain that the emotions come from, right? So you're learning about that and that there is a need for quiet and maybe even some solitude this year as well so that you can connect to the divine, so that you can turn some of these things over and get clarification back. We have that power. We're going to discover that we have that power to sort of from a soul level, ping out to the universe and see what comes back. Yes. And, and what, what is the realization around that? Okay. The next card is a time for healing balsamic moon. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a lot it's a very emotional time for you guys. It's a very emotional year and it doesn't have to be bad. I mean, this could be like someone finding out that they're pregnant and you never thought it was possible. And so you maybe start having fears around that. And will I be a good parent and, and all of that. So there, there's a time to heal whatever your fears are and to heal wherever that comes from. Okay. All right. Curious to see what, <laughs> what's next. A time to give rather than take new, new moon in Virgo. This is about cooperation, okay? And letting things be a little more equal. And when you, know, when you are processing things, offering your help to someone else can also be very healing for you as long as you don't feel like you're being taken advantage of or that you're being drained by showing up for someone else. Does that make sense? All right, so your color card is oh lemon access innovative thinking the number is 23 it's time for change it's time for change and it's time to let go of some of the shadowy stuff that's hanging there so that you can have a very bright future so that you can um, have your freedom have your freedom and that doesn't have to mean breaking up with someone right so access innovative thinking is just asking you to take a different perspective and ask yourself, you know, do you have to be in the pain body all the time? And if you do find yourself there, what is it telling you? Okay, this sort of thing. It's time to release yourself and get moving forward. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.